I guess if I had to just pick one thing I know I could do, it's there's a handful of clients that have gotten their samples. Okay. And they are trying to strategize how they're going to go about placing the order. For instance, I have one client who I I love as a person dearly, but the project itself is so far from where I'm trying to go, but it doesn't make sense for me to keep going down this road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got him his samples. He's in love with them, but he said, I would really like you to help me get a set of salesman samples so that I can do a whole marketing campaign and see about getting pre-orders. Okay. Like now would be a good time right now before I do anything else. Uh Uh-huh. Just see if I can find someone to take the baton. It sounds like a perfect transition point. Yeah. And that's one of two scenarios, uh, three scenarios for sure that I've gotten samples to people and now they're trying to figure out, do I get a loan from the bank? Do I try to do some sort of Kickstarter? Um, Do I try to do pre-sales? Like those are the people that I need to be serious about finding new homes for. I mean, literally you could like, I, after we get off this call, I don't know where you're located, what time of day it is, but like after we get off this call, you could reach out to a few of the freelancers in the SFS community and like, here's the client, like, would you be interested or not? Okay. I mean, that could be done in 20 minutes. Yes. And then based on what they say, you reach out to your clients tomorrow or at least sometime this week and either by phone or Zoom or email, depending on, you know, what you feel is the best rapport for your relationship. Um, and, hey, I have, the, I, you know, here's why I'm kind of transitioning, blah, blah, blah. I've got this other freelancer, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you could literally have those three okay. clients offloaded this week, I feel like. I'm just in my head about, like, how do I do it? Right? How do, like, what do I say to where it doesn't feel like I just pulled the rug from under these people? Okay, so, like, I'll freeform the email to you right now. Okay. Okay. Do it. Here's what you say. Um, and I, if it were me, depending on your working relationship with them and depending on them, like, do they really, like, they don't want to get on Zoom call, they're busy, they – I would try to do this over Zoom or phone at least. Yeah, I wouldn't I yeah. wouldn't do email. So let me freeform the conversation, not freeform the email. Okay. Um, hey, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's been so amazing working with you. And I'm really excited to where we've gotten the project so far. Um, I just want to be really, really transparent about some of my goals and where I'm trying to build my freelance business to. You know, I've done a lot of soul searching and I've been thinking a lot about what makes the most sense for my future based on my passion and my desires as a freelance designer. And, you know, there was a point where I was just taking on a lot of various clients in different categories, but I've really decided to focus on this specific category because I think if I'm focused, I can do a much better job for my client. Um, And I can bring myself a little bit more, you know, passion and, and, uh, enjoyment into the project because this is like the category that I'm just absolutely loving and obsessed with. So all that being said, um, you know, I realized where we're at in the project, you've gotten your samples and you're kind of trying to figure out where you want to go next. I don't want to leave you abandoned. And I realized that, you know, I've gotten you here and you feel really comfortable with me. Um, but I do feel like this could be a good breaking point in the project, um, for me to give you the opportunity to work with, another freelancer, I realize it can be really hard to find freelancers. So I am part of a private community with freelancers, uh, freelancers specific to the fashion industry. And there's a couple people that I've built relationships with over the past few months, however long, um, who I know could do a really exceptional job for you. I've reached out to them. They do have availability in their schedule. And so I wanted to open up the dialogue and see how you would feel Um, I mean, in a way, like I'm, I'm the way I'm saying it is you're almost giving them an option, but like, I think they're going to get it. So you're kind of like, I wanted to open up the conversation to see how you would feel about, you know, me introducing you to this other person who could take over the project. Um, I'd be happy to be on for a couple weeks during the transition and be copied on all emails to make sure like nothing gets lost in communication. And, you know, of course, even in a month or two or three, like if a question comes up, like that you don't have the information because it was just stored in my head. Like I'm here to support you and make sure that this works. Um, But I, as a business owner, like I have to be really mindful about where my time and energy is going. And as much as I've loved your project, you know, I've, I've 
spent some time over the past few weeks or months deciding like what I want the full future of my freelance business to look like. And it just looks a little bit different than your project. And, and so I wow. wanted to just be really transparent, and open up and have this conversation with you um, because I really care about your success. And so I, I want to do everything in my capacity to make sure that you are taken care of going forward. Um, but I also have to really be true to myself and I have to be true about where I can do the best job and have the most impact. And okay. your project really like, doesn't totally fall into that category that I've now decided I want to focus on going forward. I think they're wow. going to be really understand. Like <laughs> I would be right. You just have to be yeah. honest. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, you know, it's so cliche. Honesty is the best policy, but like it really works. Yeah. Um, and I've, you know, I've done a lot of speaking over the years and I've done a lot of writing and I've really refined like the nuances of the language that I use. You're a good speaker. I can though. tell. I can, but you're a good speaker too. I can tell just in our conversation. I can tell what you wrote in your application for the strategy session. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. But um, so I think you would do great. Um, and I just think you just have to be really true to yourself. And it's okay to be like, I have to be honest about what makes sense for my future. And guess what? They're a business owner too. They're going to get it. Yes. Yes. They're going to get it. Absolutely. So that's what the conversation would look like. How does that feel? That I literally just felt like calm wash over me listening to you say that. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, let me get my phone and just record this and then yeah. play it <laughs> yeah. during my co next consultation. But no, that's exactly what I've been trying to figure out yeah. how to say. Yeah. And uh, an email didn't feel right. No. I'm okay with getting on a Zoom or a phone call. All my clients seem to be okay with that as well. I okay. just didn't know the words. I just needed the words. Yeah. <laughs> so one step closer. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So I think. Like, I mean, I literally think you could make some huge progress this week. It's only Monday. Okay. Paying the other yeah, freelancers, absolutely. see if they'd be interested. Okay. I imagine, you know, if they're top-notch freelancers, you should probably hear back from them pretty quickly. Right. And then you've got a chance to hop on with your clients. And then I'm with you. the other thing I would really add, like, if I had to, like, put it down to like, let's say a few bullets of like things that I would really specifically touch on in that conversation. It would sure. be, um, and, and maybe this is not in the exact order, but mm -hmm. I want to be really mindful of like the transition point and where we're at right now feels like a really good time for transition so that like okay. no balls get dropped. Right. Like we're at this interesting, like you're kind of trying to figure out where you're going, blah, blah, blah. Right. So it's a good transition yes. point, And I'm mindful of that. Um, yes. I understand that it's hard to find freelancers, which is why I've reached out to a couple of people who I know and trust and I know I could pass you off to someone good so that they feel comfortable that they're getting put into someone that you have handpicked. They're not just getting some random person. They're also not getting into this where they have to go find another freelancer. That feels really hard. So you're offering a huge right. value by giving them someone that you already know and trust. Um, that you, and this is sort of like two pronged, but one is that you have to be really mindful about the work that you want to continue doing based on your passion and your interest, because that's where you can do the best job possible. So from a selfish perspective, you want to be able to put your energy towards the things that you're most passionate about, but also for respect for their business, you want to be mindful that you're, if you can do the, the stuff you're most passionate about, that's where you're really going to shine. And not that you're not doing a great job for them. But we're always going to be doing a little bit better job if it's like really aligned with where 100%. we're passionate, right? And they're going to yes. respect that, right? Um, and then I guess a uh, last thing would just be I'm here to like make the transition seamless, right? I'm not just going to disappear, yeah. After I make this intro, I think okay. those would be like the four key points to touch on.